So my name's Dermot Turing. I've been invited here to Trinity College Dublin by the Polish Embassy to give the uh, Łukasiewicz lecture this year and this is on the subject of the Enigma machine and the Polish contribution to breaking that machine and essentially giving the British code-breaking effort a leg up in World War II. While the achievements that the British code breakers made at Bletchley Park were very amazing and, and fantastic and contributed a great deal to the Allies' success in World War II, that was all founded on the groundwork that had been done by a group of Polish mathematicians hired by the Polish military intelligence as early as 1930. And the great thing that the Polish mathematicians were able to do as they first of all reverse engineered the machine, so they were able to construct their own fake Enigma machines. That's pretty astonishing. And they'd done that by 1932. And then secondly, they started working on this problem about how you can actually figure out what the settings are that were being used every day. And they found solutions for that. And they built machines to help them do that. It was just an astonishing achievement. And they'd done all that before World War II began. And then I think the most remarkable thing of all happened, which is that they decided to share this priceless intelligence with two very unreliable allies, the French and the British. And they just basically gifted this information, this product of six and a half years of hard work and know-how to their allies. And if they had not done that, I'm sure it would have delayed very significantly the code-breaking effort at Bletchley Park and what consequences that would have had for the history of World War II are really quite unpleasant to think about. So it was lovely being here at uh, Trinity. Um, it's my first proper visit to Trinity College Dublin, so it's the first time I've actually been inside. Lovely audience, the lecture theatre was full. We had lots of people very enthusiastic, lots of questions, lots of people who were sort of interested in the subject. Absolutely fantastic, you know, really friendly, great place to be.